De Amerikaanse ambassade in Suriname en een selectieve groep Surinaamse journalisten hebben vandaag onder het genot van een lunchgesprekken gevoerd over corruptievrij ondernemen. De delegatie is ontvangen door plaatsvervangend hoofd van de missie van de Verenigde Staten, Michael Kies en Andrea Kies. Heidi Ortiz Olinger hield een inleiding over anticorruptie en vertelde hoe internationale bedrijven trachten corruptievrij te ondernemen in de landen waar ze vertegenwoordigd zijn. Corruptievrij ondernemen is geen gemakkelijke uitdaging, onderstreepte ze tijdens een interview met de journalisten. You know, this... I, one of my passions uh, as, work, as a compliance officer for a multinational company is, the, um, is ethics, ethics and compliance in corporate America. And so the, ability, the opportunity to be able to come to Suriname and to speak to business, to students, to the government, I mean to the uh, news, to the press, um, was quite, has been quite uh, satisfying for me. It is important for all companies, all uh, organizations to do business with ethics and ethical business practices are what will in encourage companies to invest, encourage companies to develop, and it levels the playing field for everyone, for companies um, and for everybody else doing business within an organization. You know, right now I don't know much about the uh, your Surinese companies, but I can I can certainly say that based upon um, my discussions with the meetings I've had to date, that uh, there certainly is a desire within the country to have ethical business practices and to you know make sure that this country continues to advance economically, politically, and that one of the elements of that is to have a level playing field. De Surinaamse journalisten deelden hun eigen ervaringen met de inleidster op het stuk van corruptie in Suriname. Beide partijen zijn het erover eens dat journalisten een grote rol kunnen spelen in het bestrijden van corruptie. One of the things a company has to do in order to safeguard themselves from corruption is to have a compliance program. Is to have a program within the organization that espouses, that discusses the values, is to have ethical values and to put a program together that ensures that everyone within that organization understands what you stand for as a company. You know, what are your values? Um, what type of business practices do you want to have? How do you want to compete within a country on a level field? If so, then you want to put together policies and practices that ensure that your employees understand what you expect of them in this area and that you stick to it and that you have the right tone that your management is saying the right things and making sure that they not only say it, but act it, that they are showing you that that's what they want within the organization and, and making sure that employees understand they mean it. Because at the end of the day, one of the most important things a company can have is this reputation. And the reputation starts within the organization and it's something that you keep repeating outside so that your customers, your employees, um, and your suppliers or your third parties will feel good about doing business or working for you. Heidi Ortiz Ollinger, die vandaag voor een groep journalisten een inleiding hield over anticorruptie. Ze deed dit op verzoek van de Amerikaanse ambassade in Suriname.